Not too long ago, we made a video called 20 Reasons You Shouldn't Mess With The USA. Now we've made another, because it turns out there are actually 20 more reasons why the land of the free and the brave should never be tussled with. These are 20 Reasons You Shouldn't Mess With The USA, Part 2. Number 20. U.S. Navy SEALs We'll begin this list with something that is undoubtedly epic and something that most nations should fear. In fact, it's fair to say that they do fear them because they are the people that the United States sends in for their most dangerous missions more times than not. You know about the legendary SEAL Team 6 and how they were the ones who took out Osama bin Laden. But that's not the only story of a long history that proves their effectiveness. Like any special forces unit, you can't just become a Navy SEAL. They have a training process so severe that it's easy to flunk out of the basic training before you even get to the tactical and combat. Now, I won't list everything that you have to go through here, but there is a thing known as Hell Week, where you have to put your body through 135 hours of continuous labor in order to prove that you're ready for the real world. That's right, you have to push your body to the limit for days on end, for multiple weeks, just to prove that you're worthy of going on a mission. And then, after you get the nod and are welcomed into the Navy SEALs, you're then turned into a warrior with so many skills that it's laughable what regular soldiers can't do in comparison. There are multiple teams of Navy SEALs that are ready to go at a moment's notice, and while they have been getting more and more popular in the realm of television, films, and more, make no mistake, that's only a very, very small small inkling of the missions that they sometimes do and the abilities that they have. If the United States is in danger and the government needs a job done quickly, quietly and effectively, they will then turn to the Navy SEALs and heaven help you if you're their target. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Introducing the Bell Is Viper. This utter bad boy of a helicopter is a twin-engine beast modeled on the AH-1W Super Cobra, produced by legendary manufacturer Bell Helicopters. It's the only attack helicopter on the entire planet that features fully integrated air-to-air -air missile capabilities, so when I say it shouldn't be messed with, I actually mean it. Kitted out with weapon system guided rockets, 16 air-to-ground missiles, and two sidewinder air-to-air missiles, these helicopters can do some serious damage all that they want. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. The MQ-9 Reaper Drone Drones are something that you see all around you depending on where you live and what circles you may live in. Many believe that drones are the future of delivery services and being able to get things from one place to another. Not surprisingly, the United States has been using drones for over a decade and they've evolved heavily throughout that period, as proven by the MQ-9 Reaper drone. These unmanned aerial vehicles were initially one of the greatest recon tools that the United States had, and they were able to go over enemy encampments, get the pictures and data that they needed, and if they were shot down somehow, they didn't lose any lives. But as time would go on, they realized that they could outfit these drones to make them capable of shooting missiles, and that's exactly what they did with the Reaper. The Reaper is the largest of the UAVs in the United States arsenal, having a wingspan of 84 feet, a takeoff weight of 7,000 pounds, and a payload capacity of 3,000 pounds with a flight time of 36 hours. That's more than enough time to launch from a base, get to where you need to be, drop a payload, and then get out pretty quickly. Capable of carrying 500-pound bombs, air-to-ground and air-to-air -air missiles, the UAV fleet is poised to perform the lion's share of American air support. To that end, drones like these could be the future of all warfare. Imagine being able to do everything by remote control, with the only lives in danger being the target targets that the drone is going after. That, my friend, is a ton of power. But as you might know, there's also a danger in all of this. Drone strikes are powerful, but they can also be faulty. As the United States has proven, mistakes happen, and that can cost lives. And that's all the more reason not to mess with the United States, because even their mistakes can be incredibly destructive. Number 18. The AA-12 Atchison Assault Shotgun 
While the drone fleet and whatever else may emerge from that line of technology is impressive, it cannot fully supplant the need for ground troops. As we've already seen, the Navy SEALs are some of the best in the world, and they can do missions that drones cannot do, such as infiltration. Yes, technically a drone or a robot could do that, but there are more risks and limitations with that than a human, and you know it. For those missions that may require a firefight, you'll want to outfit them with the best weapons, such as the AA-12 Atchison Assault Shotgun. Shotguns were created to be something with stopping power or to make things in front of them go away, and this gun will do exactly just that. The AA-12 can fire five 12-gauge shells per second, and because the recoil is engineered at just 10% a normal shotgun, it can also be fired from the hip with only one hand. That's a scary thought. After all, most shotguns fire one round before needing to be primed for the next shot, not to mention the recoil can be a but here we have a weapon which allows you a more rapid fire capability and you can shoot it more freely as well. Just imagine a platoon of soldiers having these shotguns and raining down big blasts on nearby enemies. It would be a mismatch of grand proportions. That's an additional reason that you need to fear the United States, because they have numerous gun manufacturers and suppliers who would wish nothing more than to make the next great weapon and sell them to the highest bidder. And the United States pays very well for guns that can make some problems go away. While the shotgun is impressive, you can bet they're already working on a more advanced model. So, sweet dreams, my friends. Number 17. The Phaser Rifle. This next one is the first of what you may call the sci-fi weaponry because it may feel like it's a weapon of the future, however it's not. Whether you realize it or not, lasers have been inducted into the US military for various forms, and you might know of certain laser systems on ships that help destroy incoming missiles, but there are those that you can find on the ground level as well. One such example being the phaser rifle. It's meant to be a simple blinding tool and allegedly will not blind you in full, but it will temporarily blind lock your sight, and that can be a big thing on the battlefield. All technologies have to be birthed from somewhere, so who knows? Perhaps the United States will be the ones to make a true laser rifle, and they're certainly researching it. Number 16. The Taser Shockwave you might think that the majority of the United States military's weapons, regardless of branch that they're used in, are meant to be lethal or heavily cripple an opponent, as you've seen by some previous entries. However, that's not exactly true. There are plenty of missions that also require people to be captured or immobilized without them. After all, there are such things as international incidents and is only done when needed. Enter the Taser, one of the most important devices ever created for the most basic of reasons. That's because it can be used by pretty much everyone, and it does its job very well. That job being to send an electrical pulse through a person's body to the point where they can't move, and they fall to the ground in a heap. It's really funny, when it's not happening to you, that is. However, the Taser also has a problem. It's a one-off, and it's hard to reload. So, if you have a swarm of people coming at you, you can't use it effectively, right? Well, yes, that is unless you have the Taser Shockwave. This is a brilliant modified version of the taser that can be assembled easily and fired just as easily. It's used to subdue groups of people and it's as effective as you would imagine. If you notice, there aren't just a few barbs across the front of this device. There are many, many of them that would happily latch onto people and then take them down. The device is so effective that special units like SWAT have been known to use this thing and we all know that SWAT knows how to get the job done. Number 15. Black Knight. This tank is known as the Black Knight for reasons that cannot be fathomed, but it's another example of the future of warfare because it's a tank that can be remote controlled. The reason that it's important should be somewhat obvious. After all, the military is slowly moving itself from manned vehicles to unmanned vehicles, and the more that they do that, the more they're able to stop putting their soldiers at risk. Plus, the remote control side of things could allow the tank to be used as a decoy and draw away enemy forces while the real bulk of the fighters hit a different target. But make no mistake, if it does need to get into a fight, it has all of the armaments to get the job done. Number 14. The Active Denial System 
The active denial system is actually a really cool system that the military has developed in order to shut down situations that involve large groups of people. But how does it do that? Well, it basically cooks them alive. It's not meant to be a lethal weapon, though it's not hard to see how it could be that within a few tweaks, but instead it's meant to make people's skin feel hot and itchy so that they then disperse from an area. Is that a bit excessive to get rid of a crowd of people? Well, potentially yes, and obviously this should never be used for something like a protest that is peaceful, but there are times when massive crowds gather for violence and this could disperse them without having caused a major problem. Number 13. Boeing Laser Avenger the Boeing Laser Avenger is a true laser weapon, and it's actually a variation of one that I talked about earlier. The Boeing Laser Avenger is a laser that is used to disable or destroy enemy UAV drones. You could do that by destroying it with a missile, but that could also cause some problems, like exposing where the missile was fired from. However, the Boeing Laser Avenger is an invisible laser that can be placed on a Humvee and then taken anywhere. And so, it ensures the safety and security of those who use it, and that target is taken down without much issues. Number 12. The Mars Robot for the longest time, and to be fair, we're still dealing with this issue today, bombs and mines were the greatest threats to soldiers. If there's an explosive device incoming, there's only a few things that you can do before it goes off. And if you were to step on a mine, you'll at best lose a limb, and at worst, lose your life, depending on how powerful it is. Mines are still in use today, but we don't need a bomb dog to sniff them out and take care of them because we have the Mars robot. This is a robot that can be customized to handle any kind of bomb defense using situation that might sound very broad, but it's really what it's designed to do. It can disable various kinds of bombs through its operator without that operator having to be close by. It also means that soldiers can stay the heck away until they know that things are safe once again. Number 11. The XM-2010 Enhanced Sniper Rifle Snipers have been around for much longer than you may think. There are some reports of them even being used as far back as the Revolutionary War. Ever since then, snipers have been implemented to take out targets from afar with incredible precision, but to do that, you need the best gun that's available to you. And for most snipers, they might want the XM-2010 Enhanced Sniper Rifle. That's why this one is so special. It's meant to be one of the most quiet sniper rifles ever. That's equally important because a sniper's role is to be unseen and unheard, and if they don't know where the bullet is coming from, you can pick them off before they realize the truth. This rifle carries more gunpowder in the bullets that it fires, has a flash suppressor, a sound suppressor, and a thermal sleeve to hide the warm barrel from the FLIR. So, if you have this rifle, you're likely not going to be caught in the field anytime soon. Number 10. The XM-25 Individual Air Burst Weapon System I've only loosely talked about grenades, so now I'll show you a weapon that uses them with extreme precision. That's because the XM-25 Individual Air Burst Weapon System is a grenade launcher of the highest order. It's able to take a grenade, line up with where it needs to fire, and then propel it over 1,500 feet at times to where it needs to go. It even has a system that determines whether or not it needs to detonate yet based on how many times that it's spun in the air. Those who have used it feel that it's one of the best weapons ever, and they further said that it helped bring drawn-out conclusions to an end because of its design. And so, this thing is powerful enough to make long fights end quickly, and that's something that you should fear. Number 9. The Railgun Depending on what you may watch, some of you may already know what the railgun is. It's a science fiction style weapon that uses science to do things in a more powerful and efficient way than conventional weapons do. When you think of a gun or a missile, the common denominator is that the weapon in question uses combustible elements to propel them forward. It's highly effective, but it also has its limits on various levels. The railgun, because of how it's designed, does not have such limits and thus can do so much more. In this case, it uses electromagnetic 
magnetic energy to launch something at incredible speeds so that it impacts the target with much greater force than you would imagine. It can effectively intercept air threats, particularly anti-ship cruise missiles. Railguns also offer much larger ammunition, holding capacity, and lower cost per engagement as compared to missiles of similar range. Why is that? Well, it's because a missile is a very complicated device, whereas a railgun uses very basic ammunition to ensure maximum damage. Not to mention, because of the use of electromagnetic energy, the railgun can fire things farther than most naval guns or missiles can be fired when on a ship. If you're wondering why the United States doesn't have railguns on every ship or vehicle in the fleet that they own, well, that would be because there are still some bugs to be worked out, and it's not the easiest thing to use due to the forces within. But could you simply imagine the United States with this thing fully vetted and placed on numerous ships and carriers? It would further elevate their power many fold. And it might just be here sooner than anyone realizes. Number 8. B-83 Nuclear Bomb it's taken over half the list, but here we are finally talking about a nuclear bomb. Specifically, I'm speaking about one that's so deadly and powerful that even United States President Joe Biden recently retired it. The B-83 nuclear bomb was made during the Cold Russia. It was a 12-foot-long bomb that had fins and was packed with enough explosive force roughly 80 times greater than that of the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. Its job was to obliterate hardened military sites and command bunkers, which included those within Russia, to prepare for what they thought was inevitable war. They also made over 600 of these devices, and could you have imagined if they dropped all 600 of them on Russia? Thankfully, that did not take place, but it should also be noted that while Joe Biden did retire the bombs, they can still be used, and there are many who believe that the United States still have some in storage, just in case. Number 7. The AH-64 Apache Heading now into the air, we'll talk about an aircraft that's been used over the years in many forms, the Apache helicopter. Equipped with a 30mm cannon, Hellfire missiles, and sophisticated sensors, the Apache combines speed, firepower, and range, which allows the Army to strike enemies long before they come within firing distance of Army ground troops. It is equally useful at hunting down insurgents or decimating enemy armored columns. That's a key thing to note here, because you might picture aircraft only dropping bombs or fighting it out in dogfights in the skies above, but the Army uses their helicopters to great effect to help out their ground forces and even transport them to various locations should they need to. And that makes a couple of these heading your way something that you would not want to see. Number 6. The M1 Abrams I've already talked about a tank, but that was the remote-controlled kind. If you're looking for the kind that the United States would send into war in bulk in order to establish their dominance, well, that would be the trusty M1 Abrams. Some hold this tank in such high regard that they think it's easily one of the best tanks on the entire planet. Weighing in at a colossal 60 tons, the M1A2 has a 120mm cannon, depleted uranium armor up to 3 feet thick, and a top speed of more than 40 miles per hour. When they were deployed, in the Iraqi war, they were able to wipe out enemy tank resistance without a whole lot of issues. Only a few would be destroyed, and more than that, they were stolen by enemy forces, which just goes to show how much that they knew the tank was worth. Number 5. Special Operations Weathermen now, I'll admit this next one's going to sound like a bit of a joke, but it's something that the United States has been doing to great effect over the years. When you need to do a mission overseas, and it involves any kind of infiltration or sending in of forces, you need to know what the conditions of the place that you're going into are, aka, you're going to need to know the weather and how it's going to affect you. That's where the special operations weathermen come into play. They go to an area and take readings and measurements to give the best possible weather forecast so that their fellow troops know when to come in and how. You might mock it compared to how cool some of the other entries are, but these soldiers do good work and they also save lives as a result. Number 4. Ohio-class submarines it's honestly a little surprising that it's taken this long to get an aquatic vessel, but we made sure that the entry was well worth it, as we're now talking about the Ohio-class nuclear submarines. These are the biggest submarines that the United States has ever made, and that should tell you something. The fact that they're nuclear subs should tell you even more. Because these vessels are all over the world, and if the United States wanted to, they could simply and easily launch missiles or even a nuclear warhead at an enemy without them even realizing where they had come from. 
Ominous, yes. Practice regularly by the crews just in case they're given the order. Well, you better believe it. Number 3. The Mother of All Bombs Despite the nickname that this explosive device was given, the mother of all bombs is not one that's meant to wipe out entire nations from the face of the earth or destroy a chunk of the planet when they're detonated, but it does certainly do a bombastic function. Now, this thing weighs 22,000 pounds, yielding 11 tons of TNT, and it's an airburst bomb and not a penetrator. However, it is intended to blast the heck out of anyone or anything that is hiding in caves and canyons. Given how the United States had a long war in Afghanistan and Iraq because of such caves and canyons, you could easily imagine why they would want to have such a device at their beck and call. Number 2. The B-2 Stealth Bomber how do you know the importance of an object or an item? That obviously depends on the situation, what they're used for, and more. In warfare, you can tell the importance of a vehicle by how much it's used in the field and when it's used in the field. That brings us to the legendary B-2 Stealth Bomber. This is a type of plane that has been in use for decades and it's not going to stop anytime soon. The reason for this is the plane is known for its heavy payload capacity that allows it to drop bombs across a wide array of an enemy nation. So, if the United States States is to go to war, these are typically the planes that will do the dirty work first and foremost, as well as send a message that this barrage of bombs is only the first thing that's coming your way. Plus, even with their bulk, they are stealthy fighters, and they're able to do long-range missions without having to refuel. The longest mission they ever did was 44 hours, and they did that one in one shot. So now, just imagine being on the ground and looking up to see a swarm of stealth bombers coming at you. It would not be a pretty sight, and it would be a clear signal to you and your country that you're likely screwed. Number 1. The F-35 Lightning II I've shown you an aircraft or two on this list, but trust me when I say that the United States smiles wide and proud because of the F-35 Lightning II jet that they have within their air fleets. But why would that be? Well, it's because the F-35 Lightning II is the most advanced fighter jet in the world by a wide margin. It's a fifth-generation fighter that's capable of doing numerous things in the air that put the world on edge so much that other nations like Russia, China, and beyond have all raced to try and get their own aircraft up to its level. They haven't been able to do that as of yet, though. The F-35 can carry JDAMs, the Joint Standoff Weapon, Paveway 4 guided bombs, and various air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, and even Storm Shadow cruise missiles, all of which can do an incredible amount of damage to whatever target that they get locked onto. That says nothing about its range, maneuverability, and the speed of the aircraft. The United States has plenty of these planes ready to fly at a moment's notice, and you know that you've screwed up if they decide to send them after you. That's all from the land of the free and the home of the brave, and another set of reasons that you shouldn't mess with the United States. Did you enjoy all of the reasons why the United States is something you shouldn't mess with? And do you hope that another nation doesn't try to mess with the United States so that these items and weapons don't have to be brought to bear? What do you hope that the country does next to settle its own issues? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.